I'm Sarah Borks from Keto here in New York for NAREIT's REIT Week 2018 Investor Conference. Today I'm joined by Richard Stockton, President and CEO of Braemar Hotels and Resorts. Welcome, Richard. Good morning. So in April, the company rebranded as Braemar. Can you talk about some of the changes you expect to see from that rebranding? Yeah, no, we uh, felt it was important to establish an identity that was consistent with our strategy that we had announced in January 2017, which is to focus on investment in the luxury hotel sector. We chose the name that reflected uh, an area in Scotland that is home to uh, an old castle named Braemar Castle that represents uh, the guardian of capital because that was the guardian of the land in the surrounding area. Uh, it was also a very well-appointed hunting lodge at one point, which then speaks to the luxury focus of our strategy. So uh, in, in establishing this new identity, we think that uh, we've given something for investors to uh, latch on to, if you will, in terms of understanding what we're about and where we're headed. And earlier this year, the company acquired the Ritz-Carlton Sarasota for $171 million. How challenging is it to find those sorts of acquisitions in the market? You know, it's very difficult. We have to sift through a lot of deals to find deals that work for our financial metrics. And we've been very disciplined about our acquisition program. In the last year, we've acquired three hotels, all with a trailing cap rate of 6% and an unlevered IRR target of 10%. And these are for very high rev par lodging assets in the luxury class. Uh, now, uh, in order to get that type of pricing, you not only have to look through a lot of deals, uh, but you have to be able to move very quickly and with a lot of financial credibility, which sellers really value when we come to the table. In that circumstance, we weren't the top bidder, <clears throat> but we did stick to it. And when their contract negotiations uh, faltered, we very quickly moved in. And we were able to, to establish what I think is a very attractive financial deal for a very high quality asset. And how much attention is Braemar paying to the uptick in M&A activity in the lodging sector? Uh, for the moment, we're not involved and we're looking from the sidelines, but with great interest. You know, we feel that our uh, share price uh, doesn't necessarily reflect the intrinsic value of the portfolio. As a result, to the extent that there's capital out there, you know, searching for opportunities, uh, it's possible that we would get approached at some point. Uh, and, and we would certainly uh, address it at that time and, and discuss it with uh, any potential suitors. That's how we're kind of thinking about our role in, in the sector now. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. And for more from REIT Week 2018, be sure to visit REIT.com.